Hey, what's up guys? We're here at the Knoxville, Tennessee Regional with... Uh, Alec Tingen. And what did you just do today? I just got fourth place at the Knoxville Regional with Metal Foe Zoo. And uh, anything you want to talk about before you go into the deck list? Or? Um, I've been to a couple events previously with mostly the same list as this and done poorly, but uh, I always really thought that the deck actually was very good and that all of my losses were just due to uh, my own misplays. And I think that I... Uh, have learned to have played a lot better now and uh, I think it shows at this event that uh, it really does have the potential that I thought it did. All right, well let's just jump and straight into really the It's really fun to play, okay. honestly. All right. So I played uh, three of each of the good ones and two Bisma gear because oh. you don't want to clog with it. Uh, mm -hmm. Like you open it up as it is and like you can pretty much search it uh, like whenever you want. Right. Uh, triple eccentric, still super good. Uh, I also I use its effect. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, that little the monster from Go. Um, the, ooh, exiled soul. Exiled, exiled force. Yeah, exiled force. Okay, I use that effect a lot, um, a lot more today than I did the MSC. And uh, I had a I don't remember which round it was. I had one opponent who. Uh, had he had gone first and set anti spell and no other back row, and he knew what I was playing, and he let me go into main phase and activate this in my pendulum scale <laughs> uh, instead of just flipping it in standby, which is incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> so very good card, and of course the bays, like yeah. there's no explanation. Uh, your low scale search target that's also uh, material to make either Mithrilium or Alcast on your opponent's turn. And it's like I don't think I've ever once resolved its like surge effect for the scale, <laughs> like either because I like just pop it with Metal Thos cards as I like get up like caught up in the combo and I just like forget about it, yep. or if it's just like seems sort of janky, like it's not the best move to make. Right. And then you play these three because obviously you're playing the Zoo Engine because it's broken. Right. And uh, there's also. In this deck, it's very easy to go into Totem Bird uh, because not only do you have this, the Terra Tops, but you also play uh, the Three Boon Buku. Uh, right. So if you open this, it's not such a guard it as it uh, might normally be. Right, right. And obviously, Three Rat. Uh, no Whip Tail. I really didn't think that it was worth like the extra pop to have that just like breaky card that really didn't do anything for you. Right, the right. The deck's already 44 cards, and it, I just didn't think it was necessary at all. Uh, obviously, two maxi and one rabbit because it's a uh, one card invoker. Very That's nice. all the monsters. Uh, I played one barrage. Just one? Because I only have one. <laughs> Good uh, reasoning. <laughs> when I entered the YCS uh, Atlanta last week, and I didn't have this in my deck list, and in my entry packs, I pulled this one. <laughs> and so I was like, shit. And you know, I didn't do well that event. Uh, mainly due to playing barrier statues and losing the die roll and getting a loss and draw in time. Got him. Yeah, and I didn't. Wa I was going to end up with another draw. Uh, I didn't want to do that to the guy I was playing against, so I just gave him the win because I wasn't going to top anyway. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I just play the one, uh, and I also am only playing one of each of the extra deck monsters for Zoo, except for I play two Dryden. So when I go first and I do the Emerald play, I will uh, I will shuffle back two of the Zoo Extra Deck monsters, but I don't actually have any intention of using them again. I just want to only shuffle back the one rat so that I later have the possibility to go into that for a free Dryden pop. Right. Okay. And one Tanky, because it's... Uh, I was talked into my uh, team group chat to play this. Uh, I wasn't playing it originally. And they all talked me into it, and I realized pretty quickly that it obviously makes sense in Metal Foes. Like, it's just yeah. a combo starter and a free pop. Absolutely. Uh, we one take painful, those. Because, uh, you know, obviously you want to play it, but you don't want to ever brick with more than one. Uh, one of each uh, fusion, that was enough. Right. Three barrier. Bread and butter card of the format. Excellent, excellent card. This won me so many games and matches. Uh, I went second against uh, the Invoke deck. He had Makaba and like five back row and like one eccentric and like one of these pretty much got me there. Amazing. Uh, two counter. 
Uh, when I played in YCS Atlanta, I was playing three. It's honestly just too many. Uh, two is enough. Like, uh, Pure Zoo cannot OTK you uh, uh, through two counter, honestly. Right. Okay. Unless they have a twin twister for counter. Yeah. Uh, one combo and one vanities. Okay. That's it for the main. You said it was 44 cards? It's 44 cards. All right, let's go on to the extra inside. Uh, extra deck, I was kind of fiddling with uh, pretty often leading up to the event. I couldn't quite settle on a build I was happy with, but I think that this ended up being pretty good. Uh, so I played, like I said, one of each of these and two Drydens. All right. And that's really honestly good enough because uh, you don't actually want to resolve the zoo combo more than once in this deck uh, because it just clogs your field. Like you would rather just have uh, Metal Foes monsters or uh, like pendulums or fusions and stuff. Right. So that's all for those. Uh, the one emerald. All right. Also for the YCS, I was maining the Bearman Giant Trainer mm -hmm. combo, and that was truly awful in the main deck. Like when it, when you win the die roll and you open that combo, it's so insanely good. You build so much advantage, but any other time that you were not on your very first turn of your first game or something, or not the first game, but like the first turn of a game, it's just not worth it. Right. Like it's a super brick. All right. Uh, but I did side those in whenever I knew I was going first. Seems valid. Uh, one direwolf. Uh, I had lightning in here before. Um, honestly, like the situations for lightning do come up, but I wasn't really feeling like the need to go into it that often. And like taking up two spots, like fitting all of these engines and like the other good cards you have to play in the extra deck in here is the, the extra deck is super tight. Like I couldn't really justify the two spots for lightning. Right. Uh, so I just played direwolf, and this also has synergy with uh, like. Uh, you can pop like a rat, or uh, if you have like a Dryden with like no materials, you've already used it, you can just pop that. Uh, or same thing with Totem Bird, if you've already negated a Speller Trap. Right. Uh, Invoker. Right. <laughs> Totem Bird, this is the real card that let me beat that Invoked matchup. Like, I just, I will show, after I get to the side deck, I'll tell you what I uh, opened against uh, Invoked. Um, one Break Sword, it's really good. Uh, Set, pop your own combination normally. Right. Uh, two Mithrilium. I would like to play three, but I don't actually think that it's necessary. I would just feel more safe with three. But okay. uh, I just went with two, and I think that it was enough for this event. Uh, one of uh, each of these. Uh, I played this brick because, well, sometimes, like, you just need to sack with your draw for fusion. And, right. like, you don't necessarily have the, uh, another pendulum monster or something to be able to make something good like Mithrilium. So you can just make this and draw. Or if you're playing against someone who's bad and they side in something like uh, Flying Sea or Retaliating Sea, which you're not really going to see anymore, but you can just immediately fuse with that instead okay. uh, to make this so you, you won't banish your uh, fusion spell. Right, right. Except for the extra. All right. Uh, my side deck, I used a lot. Okay. Uh, so I played Triple Lancia, right. uh, which I did not see one time, but I only played against one Inferno player, so it wasn't that bad. I did set it in against the Invoke, but I didn't see it. Uh, I would still play three again, though. It's really good. Okay. Uh, this was a card I was just trying out for this event that... Uh, uh, triple Holding Legs. <laughs> so at the YCS, I ended up playing against Barrier Statues and losing uh, the Die Roll. And obviously that's a easy way for a lot of decks to lose, but I really didn't like how blindsided I was by it, how I, there really wasn't anything I could do uh, once he like resolved like any mirror force and a Phantom Knight trap. And uh, also, like especially since uh, Cory Roko won YCS Atlanta with Paleos, like I expected to see kind of a lot more of those at this event. And this is also really good against that. Like uh, the only thing that sucks is like, uh, if your opponent does know what you're playing, like they can just chain their uh, barriers if they have them, uh, and they can also just strike this or warning it. Right. But that's still not bad, honestly, because that's just, uh, I mean, you pretty much just normal summoned and you got them to burn themselves for 15, and like that's not gonna, that's something that's no longer gonna like negate your pendulum summon or something. Right. So it's not that bad. Uh, I think I would might play it again. I don't know about it three, but uh, overall it wasn't bad. Very interesting. Uh, two Ghost Ogre. Okay. That was all I needed. <laughs> this brick combo, 
the the going first yeah. special. Yeah, I did side these in going first several games. The last one I did though, I opened up like uh, going first, like game two, I think against Cody Angeloff. I opened like barrier counter this and like uh, Bismagir and Volflame. All right. And That's Andy had a bad. ghost ogre, so like <laughs> it just made it even worse. So like I told him uh, before I did, I was like, just to give you an idea of what my hand is like, normal summon as my very first move of the turn. Oh. <laughs> it's horrible, but um, it when it when you resolve it, it's super good. Right. And you play like uh, I think something like 32, 33, 34 monsters in this deck. So like normally that's what you're gonna draw. So like you're also getting the burn damage in. Yeah, but like, yeah, anytime you're not going first, absolutely horrible. Uh, two Chalice, only one ulti. <laughs> it haunts me. I hate it being mixed match. I would love to have another one of these. Which one did you draw more? Neither. <laughs> I didn't draw either of them very much. Terrible. Uh, still a good card, though. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely play it again. I've, I've always really liked this one, uh, and it's also good for uh, multiple matchups. Like, uh, this is also good in a mirror match. Right. And uh, three board wipes. Three board wipes. Three board wipes. Well, so, all right. Like, uh, when I go uh, second against uh, Zodiac, pretty much I'm siding out like seven cards that are not going to be any good to me, like drawing uh, against a full zoo board with back row, like going second. So I end up like siding very heavily in that matchup, and I'll side in uh, like all of this. I'll side in these seven cards in the zoo matchup uh, going second. All right. And honestly, like with these extra engines allowing you to like do so much with so little, it really doesn't hinder the consistency of the deck that much to like side in this many cards and metal foes. Gotcha. All right. Well, well, well. Very interesting. So, congrats on your top. Anything Thank you think you. you might change about the list at all, or did it work very well for you? Um, the main deck, I don't think that I would change anything right now, although Balbaboon is coming out very soon, so I'll have to see what I do with that. Um, I would probably change the side deck. Uh, I would take these out, and I might play uh, a third Chalice, or th I wouldn't play a third Ghost Ogre, it's unnecessary. All right. But, uh, yeah, overall, I wouldn't change very much. Okay. Well, like I said, congrats on your top, and uh, thanks for the video. No problem.